the Louise Bridge over the Red River. The piers below this bridge date back to an 1881 rail crossing, but the city of Winnipeg doesn't want to replace this bridge, at least not for another 25 years. Engineering manager Brad Nurink says there's no danger of a sudden closure, like the one that shuttered the Arlington Bridge last year. It won't be the same as Arlington. This, this bridge is in a little bit better condition than that, but it does need work. Like, it, it, it is closed on a regular basis every year to do repairs to the deck and to the sidewalks. The Louise Bridge was built in 1910. That makes it 114 years old. It requires annual closures for repairs just to keep it open. Not just to the deck and sidewalks. The piers below the bridge, the ones that date back to Victorian times, they need to be wrapped up. The structural steel needs work, and so do the bearings. A new report from Narenk says that work must be done before 2030, so the bridge can continue to serve in its current configuration until 2050. This would cost about $40 million. The city councilor responsible for public work says that makes sense. To rehabilitate the bridge now for the next 25 years at the price that they're presenting, I think that's logical. The rationale for putting off the bridge replacement involves planning for a dedicated bus corridor. The city isn't sure where it will go, but infrastructure critics are not overly enthused by the idea of kicking another bridge replacement down the road. That is a failure of disciplined leadership by elected branches over more than 50 years, and now it's beginning to show its ugly head. The long-term plan for the Louise Bridge is to make it wider, both to add more lanes for vehicles and to create dedicated space for buses. Bartley Kivas, CBC News, Winnipeg.